Hello, in this lecture you are going to learn about negative look ahead. When you want to match an element, if a certain word does not come after it, then you use negative look ahead. The syntax is element to match, parenthesis, question mark and exclamatory mark, that means not. And then the element that should be um, there or that should not be there of course in this case. Now here in this example, let's suppose you want to match bill if it is not followed by paid. Now this time you want to match bill if it is not followed by paid, otherwise uh, match everything else, but not bill followed by paid or paid comes after this bill. The syntax will be bill parenthesis question mark and exclamatory mark not a negative look ahead backslash s is for this space and paid is the word paid so this regex tell the regex engine match bill if anything is after it but paid so let's first check this example so here we want to match bill if it is not followed by paid or paid does not come after it. So the syntax is question mark and exclamatory mark that is negative look ahead backslash space is there and paid and it closes. So you can see um, the all the instances of bill are matched which are not followed by paid here. So simple. Now in this second example, you want to match the this these three digit numbers if the numbers are not followed by USD. Like you don't want uh, you, uh, United States currency and all the other currencies are acceptable. So you are going to leave US dollars and select or match all the other currencies. For this, the regex will be this one. Here backslash D and quantifier is 3, so 3 digit number, question mark and not, that means negative look ahead, backslash S is for space and capital USD, United States dollar USD. This regex is telling the regex en engine match all 3 di digit numbers that are not followed by USD match all three digit numbers mm, which don't have USD in capital after them. Looking at it in regex engine, so you can see here backslash D, any number, three is quantified, three digit number. Parenthesis, question mark, exclamatory mark, negative look ahead. Backslash S is for space of course and USD, um, the word which should not come after number, otherwise any word can come after number. So you can see the match here, it has left USD and it has matched Japanese yen and Italian lira etc, the, all the other numbers. So this is negative look ahead. So these are very, very simple uh, regular expression, you can experiment with like uh, uh, use alternation here like you don't want to match USD and JPY Japanese yen and US dollar otherwise you want to match any other currency so here the structure will be backslash D quantify 3 any 3 digit number parenthesis question mark exclamatory mark negative look ahead that means uh, this should not come backslash s is for space and here alternation if it is jpy or usd don't match otherwise match looking at regex engine okay first we write backslash d and quantify 3 and then start our look ahead and question mark exclamatory mark negative look ahead and after this negative look ahead, there is a space and after space, 
we use alternation and we use uh, jpy pipe ust close this alternation close this one the negative look ahead and you can see here the result it has left usd as well as the jpy and it has matched all the other currencies so you can use alternation and all the other um, structures you have studied with look aheads thank you